Hey guys and welcome back to the AFC Hinkley save. I uh, hope you're all well and um, thanks for coming back for those who have. Welcome to any new viewers that we have. Um, please continue to like, subscribe, share, tweet, comment, all the usual stuff. Uh, it's really appreciated. And let's try and get these videos out there to people who don't know they exist. It'd be really helpful. So last time out, you saw us uh, beat Nate and Griff 2-1 and Litchfield 3-1. Um, so after that we played uh, Coatswood, we beat them 2-1. Uh, Richard Bennett with two goals. Uh, Westfield we drew 2 all with. Um, Reynolds and Smith with the goals there. We then beat Pershaw, oh, sorry, drew 2 all with Pershaw, Smith and Bennett with the goals in this one. Then a 5-1 win over Kirby Muxlow. Um, goals from Weaver, Pierce, Big Dambasungu, yes, the saviour has cometh. I managed to finally persuade him to join on a free. Uh, so he's got 9 in 14 for us so far. Uh, then Hardika and Ugbar got the other one. Then a 6 0 win over Pelsall. 3 for Basungu, 2 for Garung. Then Littleton were beaten 3-1, another hat-trick for Basungu in that game. Then a 3-0 draw with Earlswood, 2 for Sanko, 1 for Basungu. A 7-1 win over Brockton. Um, Little John uh, got four goals, Fitzgerald got one, Woolley and Slocum. We then beat Eccles, Eccles Hill uh, by a goal to nil in the FA Vase. Second round, Weaver with the goal there. A nice 7-1 win against Castle Vale. Two for Kelly, one for Grung, one for Mitchell Piggan, who um, I'll talk about in a minute. Two for Pierce and one for McFadden. Then a 2-1 win over Racing Warwick, two for Grung. Then we beat Studley 8-1, my biggest win on the game. Uh, Damari Kelly with a hat-trick, Garung with two, Weaver with one, Reynolds with one, and Piggum with one. Oh, there you are, we're top of the league, <laughs> just while we're on that. Uh, Bowles Hill we beat 5-1, Weaver with one, Garung with two, and Carvel Koo, a loan signing from um, FC United and Manchester, former crew trainee. Then we beat Bromsgrove, well sorry, we drew tour with Bromsgrove Sporting. DeVito, the legend, who's been out injured for quite some time. And Nathan Hicks, uh, another new signing who came from Histon. He is an, a midfielder. Came on a free, uh, for, like I say, from Histon, a former Leicester City trainee. Uh, then we were beaten by Formby, 3-1 in the FA Vase third round. Dan Bisungu with our goal. Bounce back against Pilkington in the league 6 3. Garun with a hat trick. Piggan with one. Sanko and Carvel Koo. Atherston were dispatched 3 0. Uh, Garun with two and Ellis Gordon with one. A 4 2 win over Southam. Um, Garun, Sanko, Piggan and a couple of own goals, I think. And a, oh no, sorry, what am about? Weaver. I didn't realise Weaver had got that. It's been sad, it's in their own goals. A 3 0 win against Am Amped Hill, or Amphill, however you want to say it. Uh, Carvel Koo and Garung with the goals there. And last time out, we were 2 0 up with about 20 minutes to go, and my goalkeeper got sent off, so we lost 6 2 because I've made all my subs and um, we couldn't bring anybody else on. So Mitchell Piggum with the goals there. Mitchell Piggum. Uh, played for the Neaton Griff a few years ago. Went to Bedworth, was the top goal scorer. I know him as a player quite well. He's a very good goal scorer in the lower leagues. Really good uh, all round goal scorer. His only trouble is he, uh, he, I think it's his attitude really, it's not very good. Um, I did a little test save with Bedworth, um, so I created the kit. Created a couple of kits and not to badge up for them, but uh, yeah, we signed him from Bedworth. So um, pleased to have got him. He scored a few goals since coming, so I'm happy with that. So we'll just—I um, clicked on them. I think I was going to show you the league. <laughs> uh, I've gone through the 
important signings, Bisungu and Piggan being the main ones, and Carvel Ku on loan. Um, other than that, it's just been, you know, the usual new gens. Richard Bennett's gone. Uh, I've released him on a free because he scored those goals early on, but he's not been very good since. So I've let him go. That's the beauty of being an amateur club. You don't have to pay to let players go. We do have a big squad. Um, quite, quite a big squad indeed. Jake Phillips, I forgot about him. He's on loan from Tranmere Rovers. Um, he's never going to be any better than a Midlands combined Premier Division player, which is our league. Uh, Piggins, just going to be a very good one of those. Uh, Bisungu, I don't know what is. Uh, oh, no, he's. Yeah, I believe Bisungu can improve a lot, so we don't know where he's going to go to. But uh, he could move on and do well. I'll just quickly show you the league again, even though you've already seen it. Um, Garung, second top goal scorer, best rating. This young man here, and Eaton Griff, 25 goals, in, uh, 29 goals in 26 games. He's on loan from the Neaton Borough. He's doing a sterling trade there. I wonder if they've got any more on loan from the Borough. Yeah, <laughs> they've got half their team on loan from the Borough by the looks of things, I'd imagine. 29 goals though, what a ledge he's been for them. But yeah, we're top of the league at the moment, two points clear of Pershaw. Litchfield have started picking up points, look they're starting to slowly creep up, they're not far off the playoffs now really in the grand scheme of things. What a comeback that'd be if they could get into the playoffs, that'd be legendary for them. I think Griff now in the playoffs. Today's live games against Alvis Sport are in the playoffs. So um, we'll go to that. First choice keeper is suspended because the noob when I got himself sent off. He, he he caught the ball and ran out of the area with the ball. Um, I think his momentum just carried him out of the area, unfortunately. So um, there, that's that. No, it's not you. Actually, I don't really need to bring anybody else onto the bench. Pickers on the bench, Kelly's on the bench. In fact, I might throw Kelly in there and Pierce on there. That should be fine for now. He says, with optimistic hope. I need to try and bounce back from that very disappointing 6-2 defeat against Brockton. Really disappointing game that was. Daryl Toff in goal for them. Now you bet. You can do the do. Assertively. Go out there and get revenge. <laughs> I still haven't found out how to get rid of the in game editor. Um, symbol so you can't use it in the save. I'm not, well, I'm not going to use it anyway, but. I just want to get rid of it so that people don't start saying, if you didn't get oh, what a goal. So I need to slow this down so that people don't say, if you didn't get him in it. And I haven't. I think the highlight won't kick in for that goal, unfortunately. But um, I should do afterwards. But yeah, I want to try and get rid of it. So I might try uninstalling and reinstalling the game at some point, see if that gets rid of it. Um, like I say, it didn't cost me anything because of the credit from Steam. And the only thing, oh, you swines. The only thing I used it for was to lower my bank balance, which I will do at the end of this season as well because it's going up and up. I mean, we've got like 500 grand in the bank at the minute. Don't want that much money yet. It's because of this strange thing where we've got 2,500 season ticket holders. You know, so I need to get rid of that. I need to lower the money. To the level it should be at really um, I could easily just let it run and run and run and use the money but it won't be realistic to the level of football we're at poor defending very poor but um, anyway that's that so we'll be doing that and also I had to change the name of the team because I when I edited it I put it down as FC Honkley instead of Hinkley I never noticed and there's a couple of other things that I change name wise that uh, were completely wrong 
and completely naffed up so I changed those as well so um, uh oh two it's because we haven't got our first choice keeper and he's a decent keeper oh could this be two defeats on the trot that would be disastrous again poor defending keeper should have saved that Ooh, <laughs> Hog, Kelly, Garung tried to get there. Toss with a kick. Weaver, giant at the back. Oh, poor. We are playing very poorly. Good job he's shite at finishing there. Very poor performance so far, I have to say. Oh, now Carvel Coos but we're not. Can he last till half time? Maybe. Phillips, Weaver, Hardiker, Pierce. Go on, run out and Piercey. Basungu. Oh, penalty. What was that for? Basungu must have been clobbered. Who's going to take this? Oh, Weaver, the big lad. Go! Well, very calmly done. Keeper never moved. In fact, he was still doing his Bruce Grobbler impression when the ball went in. Ninth goal of the season for the centre back, that is. That's a superb return. I signed him because he's massive. He's, I, think, I can't remember how big he is. We'll have a look in a minute. Assertively, I'm far from pleased. Right, we're going to take Carvel Coup off just to protect him. So Hicks can come on. Yeah, Simon Weaver. There we are. 14, 14 stone 9 and 6 foot 6. Boost. He's uh, got a lot of goals for us this season. No, well, you saw he's got 9 now for the season. So really pleased with him. Play. Been really pleased with Sam Weaver. Don't know if it'd be any good. I just brought in someone in somebody big and strong at the bat, or big and hefty at the bat, you know, for the hustle and bustle of this league. And uh, he's come home with nine goals, so very happy. Hit Kelly. Oh, Kelly, get in! Damari Kelly, another superb signing for us this season. On the right, he's in double figures, I think, now. Yeah, 11th goal of the season. This. One touch control, second shot, bang, toff, didn't stand a chance. Right, it's piggin' time. Bring Basunga off. Basunga's goals appear to, in fact, I'm going to change the front two altogether. Give them both a, a bit of a rest. Basunga's goals appear to have dried up a little bit lately. Don't know why. He should be banging them in, but I'm sure he will again at some point start ramming the ball home. Here's Piggin. Pierce. Pierce. Pierce gets in. He scored a few this season as well. He's the predator lookalike. Look at that. Cuts inside. Oh, beautifully. Then. Bang. I think it took a deflect, it hit Toff and went in, I think, through his arm. Yeah, seventh of the season for Pierce. Oh, Luke with a fluke. Oh, not a fluke. Oh, it won't count. Wow, wow, wow. Unlucky. Let's just hope we can hold on. There's no collapse at the end. When you've got a crap keeper in this at this level, they're crapper than crap. And shots going on. I mean, Hogg's the guy who conceded the Begovic esque goal. Happy with that. A nice 4 2 victory over Alvis Sport. Very pleased. I'm going to passionately tell them that was a good victory and well done. So, really chuffed with that. Try to have a look at my players in my squad, just a quick little look through. Some of them have got fairly decent stats, others not so great. But a 4 2 win. 
keeps us at the top very impressive Carvel coos out for six to nine days I'm not going to turn that alone for six to nine days so we're now five points clear at the top so I'm happy with that very pleased with the season so far um, let's take you through the squad what's up with you why are you slightly concerned once first team football well, you should stop conceding crap goals then flower pot right so that's hog he is a you know, he's got decent stats to be honest with you he's not too too bad really um ron james he's only played three games this see in fact ron you're being offered a contract i don't want to offer you a contract change contract offer walk away because you don't get a lot of games so contract you can go mate because you're crap uh damari kelly he's been brilliant for us only half a star rating but he's a very good player reese little john done the business for us when he's played been pleased with him so far mcfadden a nice little youth signing decent potential at this level King Comb over as I call him um, Dave Morley David Morley he's played a few games he's done alright when been called upon Jake Phillips is on loan from Tranmere Rovers he's played a couple of games you know so he's not really been here very long Dave Pearce he's done alright for us seven goals got fairly decent stats for this level but won't be able to go really much higher Mitchell Piggan He's uh, got decent stats, finishing wise and flair wise. Um, very good player at this level. Will go on to be a good player at a couple of leagues above. I think it said, like you know, that Southern Premier, Ith mainly Ith main Premier Division. Alton Reynolds, again a very decent player. Sahid Sanko. He's got quite decent stats for this level. Uh, four goals in nine games for us. Plays a lot on the left side of midfield at the minute. Uh, Julian Selby, he's our best player. I mean, his stats when he came in were fairly decent, but um, those have gone up from like eights to nine, uh, from eights to ten. Um, reflexes are now sixteen. Oh, he's doing really well. But where's he going to go to? Midland combined Premier Division. So yeah, he's. His abilities are very decent. Giles Slocum, I only signed him because he was fast. They've actually gone down since they were 17. So but he's a quick little player. Jimmy Smith, he's done well for us when he's played in midfield. His first touch is decent. Uh, Jack Stewart, he's played well when called upon. He hasn't played for a while though, but he does in the early stages he played really well Andy Taylor can't take any credit for him he was signed by my um, director of football oh, I keep doing the wrong thing so yeah but he's got decent stats Midland Premier League he's likely to improve in, doesn't think he's likely to improve in the future so he won't really get oh, I keep doing that he won't really go any higher than this division Joseph Ugbar he was signed for his pace his has gone down his was 14 when he joined then he played three games we scored a goal I'll keep him for now uh, Daniel Verity he's our club captain 33 years old decent signing at this level just a bit of an experienced calming head at the top big Simon Weaver he was uh, signed early on he can improve a lot in the future so that's pretty good I don't think he'll, there were, none of them will reach conference level anyway none of them um, Stuart Woolley signed by my director of football not really played a lot in the team Zach Austin he was signed at the beginning of the season um, doubt he'll be here much longer to be honest with you he just plays every now and again now Danny Basungu we all know the legend that is Basungu signed him on 
several saves. Absolutely love the man. People say that Daniel Basungu wants not make the mermaid. That's the truth right there. <laughs> Uh, Carvel Koo on loan from FC United of Manchester, decent player, very good in defensive midfield. Des Darby, now he doesn't play a lot, but when he plays, he scores, and uh, so I keep him around. Um, Rob Everington, the fans do not like Rob Everington at all, not very keen on him at all. Matt Firth doesn't play all the time when he plays, he's a decent, solid player. Uh, Barry Fitzgerald with his lovely hair <laughs> he, uh, he's, he's been a good player since coming in when called upon he's, he's quite solid at the bat Ellis Gordon not one of my signings he was signed by my director of football but he has potential to do well not played a lot of games but uh, he's a good backup to have Kenjin Gurung Nepalese striker been fantastic top scorer gets a lot of goals won't make it to conference level but he's a Midland Conference Premier League striker um, oh, I keep doing I'm sorry guys that's Bruno and no, it's really annoying I keep pressing back instead of just you know anyway uh, Andy Haynes doesn't do a lot really game wise but always good to have a backup Ross Hardiker won the first signings play well got a lot of games uh, assistant managers advised me to let him go but I'm going to keep him around for a while Nathan Hicks signed from Histon by my director of football uh, he's a decent decent player um, back to Jay Hogg so that's the squad guys so you can tell I've not used the editor to do anything um, otherwise the players would be really ridiculously good and their potential ability would be league 2 league 1 all that all that sort of guff oh, excuse me and that's just for the doubters. I know none of you guys. You guys know me well enough to know I wouldn't use them. But some new people that come to watch the videos might say, oh, you got the spanner in the tap can. You know how they do. Uh, if they say that, they will be banned from commenting. Because I can't be dealing with idiots that use them themselves. And start saying, oh, you need it for this, that and the other. I haven't. Otherwise, I'd be winning 25 nil every game. <laughs> if I had. And we won't be conceding so many goals. So, anyway, guys, that's my moan over. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's just have a quick little look, show you the finances as it stands. That's the finances as it stands. So, I tell you what, for those moments, I was going to wait till the end of the season, but oh, I'm going to do it now. So we had fifty thousand to start off with. So you know what, I'm just going to go back to fifty thousand. Okay, ping changes automatically. So there you go. Now look, I like that though, it takes it off you. So it atones for your losses. So we've lost 274,000 this month. So there you go. We've done well <laughs> to lose that much money in about five minutes. So anyway guys, thank you very, very much for your um, viewings and for listening to me ramble please like and subscribe and we will see you in the next episode